So, um, I'm making uh, bottle openers and not the regular ones that you hold in your hand. I got some of those aside, I'll have to show you pictures of. But these are basically like these round deals here. And then you buy these inserts and they go in like this. And then once they're in there, you can just hold the bottle, put your hand on there and pop them up real easy. Um, they fit in your pocket. I mean, super easy to make. These are about, I don't know, these are like five eighths thick and I'll, I'll put them on the sander a little bit here. I got some, these rubber stoppers that I'm going to use to put in here and on this side and then put them on the wood lathe um, to sand the outsides on them. Um, but what I do is I mass make, I shouldn't say mass produce them, but I'm making a bunch of them. Um, I have to follow a certain steps so to do it, and I, I should have videoed some of that, but I, I didn't because I figured I'd video the rest of this. But anyway, these are dirt cheap. You can buy these on Amazon. I think they're like 11 bucks for 40 of them. Um, and what I do is I drill a hole through the board all the way through, and then I use a, a Fossner bit, and I start the holes on this side because then I'll do everything else on this side. What I've found is that if I don't do that, if I push all the way through, I blow out the bottom. And I don't want to do that. I need clean holes. So I'll set it up over there by the drill press and show you. But right now what I've got is I've got these started. These are going to be a little bigger. Um, these are with the two and a half inch hole saw, which is this one here. And they're nice, but I'm going to make, and I've got a couple more of those inside, but I'm going to make these with this uh, walnut and this cedar with a, a three and an eighth inch hole saw so I can... Um, They'll be a little bit bigger in, in, in your hands. Those are good. I mean, they, they work really well, but I figured I'd make some bigger ones too, you know. So anyway, I will, uh, I'll video that stuff. Um, there probably won't be a lot of talking, but you'll you'll be able to see it. And I'll speed through some of it, because um, you know how to drill holes. But anyway, I'll show you the process. Really inexpensive way to use uh, leftover pieces. And all I did was run this through my planer and just get it to whatever I felt like I wanted it to be. It doesn't have to be any certain thickness. I just got it to it was flat. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna clamp this thing in place, but even though I did these holes on this side, everything is gonna be done on this side now. Um, so the first thing I need to do, this is a 40 millimeter Fossner bit. Um, I actually need to lower this down a little bit because my hole saw bit doesn't fit very well. Because uh, once I clamp it, I don't move it. All I do is keep changing bits out. So this is a 40 millimeter, which is the size of the insert. So I get that on. on that one, but let me go all the way here to this side first. And I just line up my hole, hold that in place. And then it just has to, I make it so it's a, just a tad bit underneath. This way when I put it on the sander, it'll take off the rest of that. Then I take this off so I don't move anything. This one comes off. And this one is a 25 millimeter Fossner bit. I just bought a whole set of millimeter Fossner bits because I didn't know, you know what, they're cheap. So just what I bought. These are cheap ones anyway. This hole will go all the way through now. Okay. And then that guy comes off. Now...
my dogs are in here eating everything. Anyway, um, now I take this guy. And I just drill this until it comes out. And I'll put it on the sander and sand that top part, but that's that's it. I mean, you can see how I mean, boom, done. Those hole saws, you get into a certain part. Some of these, some of this wood gets real hard in the middle. I don't know if it's binding with the way I've got it clamped or what, but that's it. That's the whole thing. And after I sand it, I'll put um, I'll put this thing in here like that, mark those holes. And I got another drill bit, and I just drill those holes out, and it's ready for finish, and that's it. So I'll uh, I'll drill, I'll do all these, and then um, you don't need to watch this. This is all the same. All I got to do is take this off. Put this guy back in here. Make sure that my hole is where it needs to be because if it's not that bit will kind of walk a little bit and then when I go through the bottom it won't line up from what a from the pilot hole that I made where I started on the other side that's it I mean what did that take five minutes to do that one I mean, yeah, maybe six with when I did the other side, but that one does there's really nothing to involved in that as long as my holes are measured. I just drill the hole through it, use that uh, 25 millimeter pilot bit, start it down about an eighth of an inch or so, and then that board's ready to be flipped over and everything else happens. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and then I'll show you what I do to start finishing them. Figure maybe you guys might wanna see, there's one knucklehead and the other one's coming over here. She's not really sure. She hates walking on the rocks, but that one over there, she's gonna lay right in the mud. She's got a bone that we kind of boiled and stuff. So, Phoebe, what are you doing? Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, she's a, she does good. Uh-oh, Aries going to get your stuff. She's going to get it. And there they go. I'll show you this, too. You know, I, I made this deal um, for the... For my cameras, it's basically one of those plastic clamps, and then I put some epoxy up inside here, and there's a bolt that goes through the bottom, and I put a $5 camera, cell phone camera deal on there, and this thing moves, and I can't see if I'm doing that, but you can move whatever you got to do, this whole thing moves, so I figured for the boat it'd be pretty cool if I just wanted to attach it to something so I can do these videos a little bit easier than using that tripod all the time. So funny, not funny story, right after I videoed that one, I was drilling the next one out, and this part decided it wanted to fall off. Great, right? So I'm looking at it, and there's no screw or anything that goes up from the bottom. Well, I need to back up from the bottom. Apparently, it's a press fit on there, so now like every two holes, um, I have to move everything out of the way and hammer it up in order to put it back on there. And you can see over here, when it did that, look what it did to the edges. So now I really got to put it on that, now not so much the bottom, but like here, it just because it, it caught and then it fell, 
it did that one it got me on this one um these and it caught me on this one a little bit um i think this one started it and it didn't fall off right away and then fell off fell off so now i gotta put them on the lathe and uh try to fix those edges and sand them things down so i'm gonna just put them on the lathe and make these three a little bit smaller than those two but they'll all still be bigger than these so what i'm going to do now is um this fits in here it's, it's a snug fit i got to kind of twist it in there but it fits in there really well and this one goes on this side I'm just trying this out. The hardest part, I think, is I got to get this kind of centered on here as best I can. And then, probably should use my other live center instead of this one, or my other center. So let me grab that one instead. Maybe I'll put it this way instead, because it's easier to see that spur center. And then I can put a little bit more pressure on here. It doesn't have to be, you know, super tight. It's just... Just need it to. It's not going to be perfect until I squeeze the crap out of it, and there it goes. Now it just kind of trued itself up, kind of. Anyway, this is really just for sanding purposes here. So, try to get those, uh, those little burn marks off of there or whatever. I can see that I'm not centered on my spur center here. You can see it, but that's okay. It's smoothing out and that's all I want it to do. What I'm gonna have to be real careful of is when I do those other walnut pieces, um, how those, uh, those are gonna have to sit in here pretty, they'll have to be centered because it's, um, I gotta take it down evenly. So this is only, this is like 80 grit sandpaper. I'm not even, not even going to go real hardcore with this. I just need to be level and make sure there's no burn marks in it from the saw. And this is just grain pattern here. So that's it. That one sits like that. Pop that out a little bit. You see how smooth that gets that. I'll do all the other ones. And then we'll put this onto the uh, sander. Sand faces. And then we'll do the holes to mount these things. These are those ones that are all got kind of messed up. I'm going to see if I can just do them on here since I can't really get this centered like, uh, like I, I need it to be. Sanding's a little more forgiving. We'll see. You can see how it's like kind of. Yeah, you can see that. And I'm not a whole terribly concerned with it, I think, because I'm going to put it on the belt sander and take this face down more. So really, I'm just trying to clean up a little bit so the edge isn't so jacked up. Uh, but the belt sander is going to really take that down. Problem I have is that it's not centered anymore. That's the big problem with this one. It's not centered. That one's... These two are okay, but this one moved. The whole board moved on me, and so I just had to make do. Where my dog went. I got one laying over there. Yeah, I'll show you her. This is one of my shop. This is my shop buddy right there. She's just chilling under the blanket. Let's see if I can get the other one over here. Phoebe, come here. Phoebe here. There she comes. There she is. Good girl. Say hello. Okay, back to the project. Just needed to know she was, where is it at? There it is. Needed to know she was around. There she is. She's going to go bother Aries now, probably. No, maybe not. I don't know. Aries is, Aries is cold. It's uh, 
35 degrees out and it sucks because it's cold out here. But I'm just going to get these done and then I'm going to bring them inside and then we'll do the whole, well, I got to do the drilling on the drill press too, so. sander after this get the tops of these things all taken care of and some dusty stuff So these are the two that I don't know, I'm not very happy with, but this one for sure. You can see how off-centered that is. Uh, I'll probably wind up keeping this or just giving this to somebody for free. But since it, I had to sand it down so much, I'll have to hit those with the uh, Fossner bit again. And hopefully I can do it that it catches this rim and doesn't walk all over the dang place like they like to do. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it off camera. And uh, then I'll just take, basically I'll just take some sandpaper and knock off the edges here. You know, just real quick, knock the edges off. I mean, they're they're really not sharp anyway, but just makes them feel a little bit better. So I'll uh, I'll finish doing this, and I'll hit those with the Fossner bit, and then I'll show you, show you the holes next where I draw on the inside. So basically, what I got is I got these four, these four. And this one that came out like crap, it's all jacked up. So I'll keep this one. I don't know, I'll give that away for free, I guess. But all I do now is come in here with a pencil. And these things sit inside here. I just mark hole where the holes are going to go. So all the holes are marked and I kind of keep all this stuff together in this bag here like with these little pieces and I got a little I think it's a 32nd inch drill bit whatever it is and I'll go in there and I'll just drill every one of these things not all the way through of course but uh, I haven't marked with tape on there so I'll do that next. Okay, so that's all those holes that are drilled. Um, again, there's two of these that are just not very good. But anyway, um, what I did on the last ones, I just used like some spray shellac because I'm going to sell them and I'm trying to keep a nice finish. I like the color of the wood, um, but I need some kind of protectant on it. So um, it's cold out today. I'm not sure if I'm going to spray these today or not because it is so dang cold out. They'll never dry and they just won't dry right. So. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my next step, but I will show you a picture of the ones I did inside of, and uh, you see what they look like. Like I said, this is an easy project to do. So, so this is the stuff I've been putting together. Um, these are the ones that I just did, and I'll take a close-up picture of all this stuff, of these. These are what, I'm, what these are going to become. This one I'm keeping home too because this was one of the first ones I made, and it's if it's off center. I didn't, I wasn't doing it in a series, you know, this hole first and that hole. I tried doing it, and I couldn't line it up. And anyway, so this is ours. Um, but this one I'm gonna wind up selling with these other ones. But I just like that wood. It's just a that's just a cool wood. I wish I knew what it was, but that's cool wood. So we'll keep those. And then I made, and I made like these bottle stoppers. 
on these. And then I got these two. I got uh, four more outside that are going to be made with um, with uh, epoxy. They're they're epoxy ones. Uh, I don't. We'll see. Hopefully they come out good. I got wood in there and they're colored epoxy, so we'll see how they come out. Um, and then these other bottle openers, I made all these out of scrap wood, out of uh, I think this is Osage orange, which around here we call it hedge wood, but Osage orange. And there's some walnut in these things. And, well, well, these are walnut anyway, but you can see the different colors I got in there on those. And then that's walnut. And some of these are, I don't know, I'm not really sure what some of this wood is, but you can see how I've, I glued them all together and it kind of shows the different colors, even though there's just a little bit of it. And this one has a little bit on that side, you can kind of see it. And uh, these here, I'm going to take these to the lake and put up a little table in front of my camper. This is probably my favorite one. I don't know why, it's just plain, but I, I just like that one. Um, anyway, I'm going to sell these out in front of the camper. So anyway, I'll take a picture of all this stuff and we can just kind of, I don't know. I was well trying to make a couple of bucks off it. Actually, I'm not making any money off of it. You know, you, between your time and everything else, I mean, you're not really making anything. But um, anyway, that's what I got. So I'll wind up finishing these off. And uh, these will turn into these. Although these are, you can see the size difference on them. But these give a little more meat. But these fit in your pocket super easy. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna, how much I'm going to try to sell them for yet. Um, but I'm definitely not going to give these away so anyway take a picture and uh we'll finish these when it gets warmer so anyway let me know what you think all right bye